Welcome back everyone. I am Power Surge. And are you trying to start a business of your own? Do you have an idea, but you have no experience, no products, no services, but you're eagerly spending money on a website, lots of time building a social media profile for something that doesn't even exist in the physical world? If so, then you're a lot like people today because that is what I see happening all over the place. This video is about how if you don't have a real product or service, you should not be investing a ton of time in some online empire for something that doesn't exist yet. I see people doing this a lot, and I see my own friends and family doing this a lot. For example, my sister has made a very cool backpack product type of thing and has been trying very slowly to build like some sort of online existence for a product, right? But she's only made like four or five of them. In my opinion, you shouldn't try to set up like a sales website and things that are gonna cost you time and money to sell a product until you have a room with like 20 of those products to, to sell. You know, you need to have a stock, you need to have tested the product, you need, you know, large amounts of research and development, you need to have a way to massively produce it and get it to people. So if you do sell a lot online, then congratulations, you can fulfill orders. But right now, I see so many people that have a great idea for a business and instead of putting their time and effort into propelling that business, they go straight to trying to build a stupid website for something. My dad, wanted to start his own soccer league out here. And it's a great idea, actually. It's a fantastic business with the World Cup. Soccer is very popular right now. But first thing he does is he's trying to like build a website and a Facebook page in order so that parents could sign up for his team and stuff. But he hadn't even secured a field or location where he could host his soccer league. So this is something that happens. I think people in 2018 are, you know, very into the internet and their phones and into Facebook and social media, right? And they see someone that has a huge following following or that succeeded on social media with a product or that's what they see and they try to emulate that social media engine but they don't realize that the product has to come first the product or the service has to come first I feel like I have donut on my mouth. I just had a donut this morning. <laughs> Another friend of mine, you know, he's spent a large amount of time and money in a website for a travel company, but the entire travel company is based on one trip. And as it is, it, to me, I just see a huge amount of basically like wasted time and effort at this point in the company's life. Like perhaps you want to build your empire, right? And some things do get famous on the internet first. Like there have been bands that never played a show, but their song got really popular on the internet and all of a sudden they gained fame and wealth from that but it, the band had songs <laughs> in this case you need to have something to provide other people in the world you need to have the service and the goods already perfected and ready before you start spreading its word online and trying to gain following and telling people check out the website there are so many people starting up their own little businesses now and you'll see on even YouTube ads they try to tell you like start up your own online drop shipping business this and that it's almost a business of getting you to try to start an online business they're trying to make money off the desire people have to work at home and be independent and they're trying to sell you products towards this and you should definitely get a website eventually if you're taking your company somewhere serious at all but you should have a real company first. I've actually witnessed examples of very predatory behavior by some of these businesses. My sister also got an email and she went to some class or seminar where they basically tried to sell her an $800 package to start your own online dropshipping business. They said it comes with software and the software will tell you what products to buy and how to resell them and this and that and it's only $800 a month or a year but then you're gonna make 7,000 a month with your own online business and you're gonna be independent. You see these key words that they use to kind of play at people's emotions. Everyone wants to be independent. Everyone wants to have their own business, right? It sounds nice. They play at the harp strings of people's wants and desires and their belief that in this current age of the internet, it's super easy to make money online, when in fact, it's not that easy. That's all I wanted to throw out there because I see so many people putting stupid amounts of energy into stuff online before they have anything in the physical world. I wanted to give this message, just send it out there and hopefully it reaches someone and helps in some way. If you like this video, found it informative, smash that like button. Go ahead, leave me a comment. Tell me if you're starting your own business. I do make videos all the time, so feel free to subscribe. And as always, just have a great day.